Mr. President, for me. President, I, well, that's I was enough. Ask one of the, the other folks. That's had, enough. Pardon me, ma'am. I'm, I'm, Mr. Excuse President, me. That's enough. Mr. President, I had one other Peter, question, if I may ask, on, on the Russia investigation. You, that's enough. Put down the mic. Mr. President, are you worried about indictments coming down in this investigation? Excuse me. I'm not responding to you. I'm talking to this gentleman. Will you please sit down? Would, excuse me. Excuse me. Would you please sit down? Now, please, go ahead. Thank you, Mr. President. It's such a hostile media. It's so sad. You ask me about, no, you rudely interrupted him. You rudely interrupted him. Go ahead. Since you're attacking us, can you give us a question? Go since ahead. you're no, Mr. President elect. Go Mr. ahead. Mr. President elect, since you are attacking no, our news not organization, you. Not can you. you give us a chance? Your organization you're, you're is attacking terrible. our Don't be rude. No, I'm not going to give you a question. I'm you, not going to give you a can question. You can you stay categorically? You are fake news. Sir, go ahead. Can you stay categorically that nobody No, Mr. President elect, that's not go appropriate. Ahead. So if you look at what I did in terms of cutting off or banning China from coming in. Chinese nationals. But by the way, not Americans who are also nice coming from easy. China. Nice and easy. Just relax. We right. were very early. Oh, I'm, I'm the people, president. And you know what I just did? So and you know what I just... And by the way, when you issued the ban, the virus was already here. Okay. And you know how many people, when I issued the ban, how many cases of virus were in the United States when I issued the ban? Do you know the number? But Tell did me. you know? No, no, no. You have to do your research. How many? I did my research. On the 23rd of March, you said you knew this was going to be a pandemic. Can I tell you what? Well, I did know it. I did know it. All I have to do is look. So you knew All, it anybody bad. knew it. Just, are you ready? How many cases were in the United States when I did my ban? I believe there were no deaths, zero deaths at the time I closed up the country. Nobody was there. Held on to those documents when you knew the federal government was seeking them and then had given you a subpoena to return them. Are you them. ready? Are you ready? Can I talk? Yeah, what's you the mind? answer? Can I, do you mind? I would like for you to answer the question. Okay, it's very simple to answer. That's why I asked it. It's very simple to You are a nasty person, I'll tell you. <laughs> Look, I told you when she was appointed. You're a third your rate country. reporter. And what you just said is a disgrace, okay? When did this person, how long in government? But, but, well, it was appointed in the Obama administration. But, but Thank you very much, John. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. You will never make it. Go ahead. Right from the beginning. No, your first question was, this is going to be tough questions. Why? You don't ask Joe Biden. Forget him for a minute. No, but you your start with me. Your president. And Excuse me, Leslie, you started with me. Your first statement was... Are you ready for tough questions? Are you? That's no way to talk. It's no way to talk. By the full soundbite from Tim Russert, you said to him was, I'm very pro-choice. I hate the concept of abortion. Correct. But I'm very Why didn't you read that? By the way, why didn't you read that before? I pulled it up. You were quoting Tim and you were quoting me. Why didn't you read my quote the way I said it? Sir, I tried to pull it up and I didn't have Wi-Fi. Well, then you got to get Wi-Fi, okay? Well, Don't ask me questions fake. like that. You're not a very good reporter. Don't we love that term, fake? What we've learned about fake over the last little while Fake news. CNN, fake. Whoops, the camera just went off. Okay, you can come back, I won't say. I promise I won't say anything more about you. Is it to ramp up testing? Right you're so, now, you're nearly so, 20 million you're so people disgraceful. are unemployed. It's so Tens disgraceful the way you say that. Let, let me just, listen, dead. I just How went so over it. To make I just went over in it. an unprecedented crisis. Nobody thought we should do it. What did your administration do in February with the time that your travel ban bought A lot. A lot. And in fact, we'll give you a list. What we did, in fact, part of it was up there. It we did a lot. Good. They're trying to look. Between you people, don't answer, don't talk to me that way. You're just a you're just a lightweight. Don't talk to me that way. Don't talk to I'm the president of the United States. Don't ever talk to the president that way. A year from now, what will Americans see? Well, they're going to see bridges that didn't exist before that were shut down. They're going to see, uh, for example, you're going to be able to get an Amtrak and instead of going through the tunnel of Baltimore at 30 miles an hour because nothing's been done under the Chesapeake Bay for under the, the, Baltimore, uh, the Baltimore area. And you would tell the American people that inflation is going to continue to decline? No, I'm telling the American people that we're going to get control of inflation. And their prescription drug prices are going to be a hell of a lot lower. Their health care costs are going to be a lot lower. Their basic costs for everybody. By the way, we've also reduced the debt. We reduced the deficit by $350 billion my first year. This year, it's going to be over a trillion five hundred billion dollars reduced the debt. And I wonder, Mr. President, what you would say to him if he is considering using chemical 
or tactical nuclear weapons. Don't. Don't. If you said, I want an ice cream, how quickly, how quickly would I... That sends an ice cream. Well, we'll see. I mean, that is rapid fast. That is... <laughs> Thank you so much. Can I? They were yelling at you. Some of them were calling you a liar. Did you expect that kind of reaction? Yeah. There's a. There's still a significant element of what I call the MAGA Republicans. You know, the Make America Great Again. You almost seem to be enjoying the the back and forth. Were, were you enjoying it? Well, you know, as you know, Judy, I spent most of my career the Congress and members of the Congress. I know I know the place well, I know the system well, and I always feel comfortable when I'm up on the hill. Here we are, as we said, uh, in Wisconsin. You've just given a talk to a group of uh, union members. Uh, this place where we're sitting is all about training uh, folks in construction work, union work. Um, when you think about the, what is it, a trillion dollars worth of money that's going to come from the Inflation Reduction Act, the infrastructure, uh, legislation, the CHIPS manufacturing bill, a trillion dollars. How do you see that making a difference? There's a lot more than that. <clears throat> it's going to make a gigantic difference. Look. These jobs, <clears throat> these kinds of jobs, what effect do you think this will have on, on working class Americans who, frankly, more and more of them are voting Republican? Well, it'll have a profound effect. I mean, look. Uh, will you rule out a <clears throat> short-term debt limit increase, and are you concerned that Speaker McCarthy, at least publicly, will not take the threat of default off the table? Um, I don't know what he thinks, what 